I've been working through my course content by clicking on the content area and I've come across the first thing for me to do. It's a discussion post, so it invites me to join the discussion. It gives me the discussion prompt here and there's this nice blue button that says join the discussion. When I click that button, it pops me over to a new screen. Now, if I want to expand, um, it gives me the description of the discussion post here and you might have some other instructions here from your teacher. So I've been invited to start a new thread. I'm gonna click the blue button and then I'm going to create my discussion post. So here is where I would write all the words and all the wonderful things I have to say about this topic. It's a good idea to enter a subject just as you would if you were sending an email. So I might choose to use my own name or I might put my hypothesis. So hypothesis and here's, you know, all my great ideas. I can use all of these different menu options to insert other materials as well. So if there's a really great link that you want to put in, you can use this little menu here to insert things like YouTube videos or web links to external resources. There's also an option to insert an image and so forth. Once you're ready to post, you're going to click on post. And my post now is on the discussion board for other students to interact with. So my teacher can now see it and I'll be able to see who's read it and how many people have replied to it. I'll also be able to see how many people have viewed it. Because the little subscribe star is checked, anytime I get a response to my discussion post, I'll receive a little notification up here on the bell icon.